Hi sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Nine and Sing. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, so you can kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support. You all shower me here with I am super grateful and you all are super sweet. So today we'll be talking something very important and it's about a black woman who actually came out to say that there are black people who are finding out that Samoans have been raped this season against us and a lot of people really got so many things to say about it and uh the truth is that a lot of people were not disappointed like some people were disappointed but they knew that uh it's been like that i mean like they were so raped i mean they prejudice against black people and that really boils down to like why is it that even people that are close to or look like black people are also do not want black people or do not want to identify as black people or do not even want to associate with black people i don't know it's something that i find so hard to like you know to comprehend and also knowing that black people are usually like have this i mean it's uh it's so easy for black people to uh work like they always welcome people they have this huge hearts about other people they are just very welcoming when it comes to other races but it is not the same thing as other people and uh that really sucks you know that really sucks and then it boils down to i mean knowing that uh even the people that you think that they are your allies are not your allies like you all are on your own you do not have any backup you do not have anybody that will always like come support you when there is something like you know going on and all that and then you finding out that they probably have a slur they they, they call black people or they say about black people even hurts more so so many people are actually coming out to say that they are uh not uh they, they knew uh it's happening they are just kind of disappointed because some of them said that you know they are our cousins some say they are our mothers there you know they, they see them as family but they do not see you all as family i am gonna roll this clip we'll come back to talk about it i absolutely want to read all your comments let me know what you all think in the comments of the social channel let's get into this video i just want to take a moment to point out that black people finding out that samoans have been racist against us rather than making us angry has really hurt our feelings <laughs> like black people are like damn i thought you was with us like i thought we was like this we didn't we didn't know i mean i think that all black people know that in general everybody hates us everybody thinks it's funny to talk down on us we're at the bottom of everyone's list but this one hurt this one hurt our feelings That Samoans have been racist against us rather than making us angry late spring early summer maybe all these black creators are making videos about how I ain't afraid of nobody now see I'm from such and such I ain't afraid of nobody but one person I'm never gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with is a Samoan and it was supposed to be this big huge key key about how black people ain't afraid of nobody but a Samoan ha 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 and something about that trend like I really was doing I love the way it feels to be a hater like I don't have nothing against Samoan but just the spirit of the joke just felt very like oh ally friend cousin I know that a lot of them don't up with us a lot of them do but just like every other race like everybody has been affected by anti-black pretty much any part of the world that was colonized like they deal with anti-blackness and oftentimes black americans are gonna get it the worst i feel like the only time i haven't heard somebody be that way is like indigenous americans like those might be our only natural allies if we have any y'all gonna learn keep living black people finding out that samoans have been racist against us rather than I want to shed some light on some information um i, I talked about this yesterday um but this video brought up a conversation or a talking point in my head that I'd like to elaborate on. Um, basically, um, Samoas, uh, Samoans, or Polynesian people, Poly people, are in that area of the world because of migration. Um, and they migrated from a place called Melanesia, and there are people called Melanesians. Melanesians are people like from Papua New Guinea or Fiji or just people in that area. If you don't know where those are, those are like right above Australia. Um, 
and yeah, it's it's pretty. We don't talk about it as much, but we really should because they're really interesting people. So, but that's where it is. How the Melanesian people got to where they are um, is they migrated across Asia from Africa to Melanesia. So um, they, excuse me, and they kept a lot of the features that our um, ancient ancestors had, at least the Melanesians did. They, uh, today, to this day, Melanesians um, are known to look very similar to Africans and African Americans um, with the hair and the noses and the skin complexion. They look a lot like us, and that's because they, um, human genetics are very complicated. But I would like to say I believe that they are that way because of the fact that their genetics are very closely aligned with the original people that walked across Asia to get to Melanesia. That's just what I believe. Now, I may be wrong. I could be wrong, but that's what I believe. And given that context, it's really easy to trace Samoan roots back to Africa because everybody's roots can be traced back to Africa. It's where everybody started. Africa is the most genetically uh, diverse place in the world. In the world. It is the home of the human species. And we never treat it that way. It's really sad. Black people finding out that Samoans have been racist against us. So my 2023 bingo card definitely didn't account for this. So if you haven't watched that video, please go back. It's good. She, um, she was talking about that um, it's come out that uh, Samoans apparently are racist against black people and black people are sad because, you know, we thought that, you know, Samoans were allies. So, um to speak to that, uh, I definitely would say that sadness is not the word I would say I'd be feeling, um, maybe close to it, but I think disappointed is more, uh, an appropriate term because, you know, sadness refers to something that you had and you lost and now you're sad because of that, right? Well, you know, you know, we re we really never had, you know, support or um, that uh, love from someone, people collectively, then, you know, how can we be sad that we, we lost it because we never had it? So disappointment is something like you, you have a belief of something or in someone and then that turns out to not actually be true. And so then you're settled with this disappointment in that person or disappointment in that thing because it didn't actually turn out the way you thought. So if we, if, if black people, we've been, we've been telling ourselves that we have this uh, ally and small people and then finding out that there was never an ally there to begin with is deeply disappointing uh like dang like i expected better we expected better uh so yeah like it's it's not true sadness it is a deep disappointment in a people that you know we thought you know was above racism and apparently if this is true aren't and that's just disappointing expect it better that black people finding out that samoans have been racist against us i mean this is literally not shocking at all like every single poc community has some sort of negatory or toxic racist ass name for black people so duh <laughs> duh I didn't think that Samoans were exempt from this, but it's just crazy. It's insane. We can't do anything. We can't do anything without people being mad about it. It's actually, it's actually insane.
if you sit back and think about it, that black people have to deal with a global chosen psychosis from literally everybody on planet Earth at all times, every day. <sighs> I'm going back to bed. <laughs> Fuck this shit. It's really hurt our feelings. Like black people are like, damn, I thought you when things like these kind of get confirmed like you know there's an inference about how the world views black people and africans in general and then when it's you know confirmed but i believe it's confirmed what i do want to let us know right because it is something that is hard to deal with but i, I think there's something that's meant to be understood is that you no know, despite what, what people want to make it seem like the world needs us more than we need the rest of them like if we really think about it if you really study if you really look into it look into who we are as people the world will always need us more than we'll need the world and when you have that understanding right there's something that's a little relieving when you understand why they do the things they do right because we understand colonialism we understand like the sort of social mechanisms but even going beyond that why is it so pervasive and ever present and why against us specifically you gotta look at what we contribute and then understand that like at the end of the day when shit when people are going to look for and look to when shit goes really bad is us so keep that in mind when we talk about the feeling of oh well you know we're, we're at the bottom of the food chain and everything it's like yeah how people you know treat us but truthfully looking at it from like from an outside view they need us and they say as much but the, the problem right now is only when it's convenient for them have been racist against us rather than making us angry has really the clip cut off, but basically she was saying that when black people found out that Samoans didn't really like us, we weren't angry, but our feelings were hurt. And yes, I understand this sentiment, but the truth is, as black people, we don't have any allies. And I really hope that this will really be a wake up call for some of y'all. And I know the argument always pops up. Oh, it's not all of them. But the truth is the ones that are quote unquote not all of them they're exceptional and they've created these anecdotal experience for us and we put them out like that's what actually happens all the time but the truth is the the greater majority they don't fuck with us for real and even though it makes no sense why people who probably wouldn't be able to walk through America, the streets of America safely, had it not been for my black ancestors fighting for equal rights in this country, why they would then turn around and have the fucking audacity to be prejudiced against us. It makes no sense. They will always value being white adjacent, if I'm even fucking saying that right. They'll value that more than our rights as black people in this world in this country because they don't ever want to be treated like us so they fall in line and do the work of their and our oppressors for black people it's always been in our nature to love and be open and be friendly but i think that we've earned the right to just be on our no new friends type shit we we got a lot of work to do at home Black people finding out that Samoans have been racist against us. The person responsible for introducing me to rap music was a Samoan girl back in the 80s. I was living in Kirkland, Washington and listening to rock music, um, Guns N' Roses and all that. And she came over for my birthday and brought me Ice-T's Power and NWA um, Ends With Attitudes uh, cassette tapes. And it was a done deal. In Oregon, I met, um, I befriended a Samoan woman and she was all Black Lives Matter. She wanted to fight injustices and I thought she had my back. We worked together um, for the state and I was experiencing racism. 
she was also a a biracial. She was Samoan and white and was raised by her white mother. And like me, she was traumatized and abused by her white mother and white people. She was treated differently because she was an indigenous woman um, working for the state. And she also had a degree and she was very, 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 very smart and aware. But when it came down to um, supporting me and a civil rights complaint and a lawsuit and um, racism committed towards me, I just don't want to walk on eggs um, in front of my manager and leadership at work. And, you know, I just don't want the trouble. Yeah, so I have a lot of trouble trusting anyone who's not black, especially if they say they're an ally. I just want to take a moment to point out that black people. Yeah, y'all should really read the works of Frank Wilderson III who is the author of what we now call Afro-pessimism. Afro-pessimism says that Africans, black people across the world, are by ourselves. We don't actually have allies. We are by ourselves. We are alone in the world. You should read more of his work or listen to more of his work if you're interested in how he got to that conclusion. It's pretty compelling. Uh, The other thing that I would say that even black people want to disassociate themselves with Africanness. It's not actually anti-blackness, it's anti-Africanness. This explains some of the Hebrew Israelite movement, the American Indian Aboriginal, whatever, disassociation with Africanness. It's an epidemic. Racist against us, rather than making us angry, has really hurt our feelings. Yeah, like, to be honest, it's not shocking, but it hurt, like, I don't, like, I expect it from, unfortunately, Asians. Of course, we are living in it daily with white people. Um, Hell, even Latinos and Hispanics. Like, we, we, it's been very well documented and known that they feel those ways about us. Um, But to know that the Samoans, like, have words, like, have words, that was painful. Like, we literally are hated by everyone, even our own. Even our own. It's sad. Black people finding out that Samoans have been racist against us. No, like, for real. We was literally calling them our cousins. And there was a TikTok creator who had posted about how we love watching them do their hakas because... We as African-Americans have gotten stripped from all the rituals that our ancestors would do over in Africa. So that's why we feel so deeply and emotional when we watch videos of Samoans doing their hakas. It's like, whole time, we thought you was our cousins on our mama's side, but y'all really are cousins on our daddy's side. Racist against us, rather than making us angry, has really hurt our feelings. Bro, she ain't tell no lie, neither. It's like we wake up every day and just find out somebody else don't like us. What I find real crazy, though, is how open people can be about it. Like, y'all got little nicknames for it? And y'all be saying it around people? It made me think of the girl who was so hype and quirky over the sundown towns. Like, it's no way you didn't know what sundown towns were. And even if you didn't know what they were, the narrative around sundown town is nothing positive. So I don't want to hear nothing about that. Oh, they just didn't know. They just didn't know. Use your common sense. All in all, it's so sad that people can have so much hate for a group of people that did nothing to you. Black people finding out that Samoans have been racist against us. Hmm. Meuli, huh? That's funny, because we were calling you brothers and sisters, but (laughs) okay. So now we need to know where um, New Zealand weighs in. We need to know. We need to know. Because... Right now, we ride for you, but if you are like the Samoan and apparently almost every other group of people on this planet who has some really strong feelings towards black people, just let us know right now. We need to know. 
And I just want to say to all my fellow uh, Black people, we are the culture of the world. Everyone else copies what we innovate, but they don't hate that, do they? Hmm. Black people finding out that Samoans have been racist against us. Dwayne The Rock Johnson must have known. His last name is Johnson. He knew this and he didn't tell us. He withheld this information from all of us. I just want to take a moment to point out that black people... Man, that shit ain't hurt shit. <laughs> hey, it's always been us. As cool as everybody want to be with everybody, it's always been us. It's always cool to be black until it's time to be black. Man, fuck all that other shit, man. Like, And we need to start sticking together, too. We need to stop doing all that shit to each other. We need to start sticking together, riding for each other, speaking highly of each other, and respecting one another. And it's fuck everybody else, because that's how they treat us. I swear, every, I swear, I don't give a fuck how nice they are. I don't give a fuck about none of that. They don't give a fuck about us. In their eyes, you are black, which means it's beneath them. I swear, it's the truth. Look it up. That black, beautiful, baby. Let that shit shine. Fuck them other motherfuckers, man. I think that all black people know that in general, everybody hates us. And it's no shade. That's really what it's giving. Like, nobody on this planet fucks with black people. You know what I'm saying? And from the beginning, we haven't done anything to anybody but make this fucking place better. You get what I'm saying? Like, Earth as a whole would be corny as shit. Earth would be corny as shit without us. Don't y'all understand that? All this shit that y'all like? Without us? Bitch... Sometimes I, I wish that I could just be a fly on the wall if that could happen. If there could be no black people here, how this planet really would have turned out. Y'all bitches better start being grateful for us. Y'all really, really be, be grateful because you would be nothing without us. I just want to take a moment to point out that black people... I thought we came to the understanding that we are the black sheep in the world, right? I thought we had an understanding that we are black and they and they are people of color. <laughs> I thought we knew that we have no allies, right? No true allies, maybe some um individual individualism, but as a whole we stand alone. We are barely united as 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 black people to begin with. So what makes you think that they're gonna align with us too? Like come on y'all. Let's let's stop falling for the okie doke. Divided <laughs> we stand or divided we fall. Once we master this, we're gonna be unstoppable. But we gotta that that comes first. That black people finding out that Samoans have been racist against us. Finding out that Samoans have their own little insider for black and, ooh, don't you dare bring that black guy home. It just completes the list for me. It's like, check it all off. We've checked every, we, we, we've scoured the entire world, this whole continent, all the continents and everything. And yeah, the Samoans, y'all just complete the list for us. It's so weird how the entire world watches us, studies us dances like us talks like us rolls their neck like us all of that takes our culture and just runs with it and then have the audacity to act like oh my god who uh, nah, uh, uh, black people uh, uh. i'm really starting to believe that y'all want to kill us off and take our place i really am it's disgusting i'm gonna say this one time okay Samoans are not racist people. We are not a racist culture. The word meuli, it is all about the context in which it is used. It's the same thing as the way that black people use the N-word. Some use it as a term of endearment while others are offended by it. However, the word meuli, we don't have a word really. We never really had a word for black person because 
we didn't see it that way because we're not really an inherent, inherently racist culture. We, our culture is based off of respect for others. We have always been a welcoming culture, welcoming others into our homes and our lives. Now, any that do show any kind of racism when they use the word mayuli or balangi, um, then what happens is they learn. They learn to love respect, okay? Samoans, we're trying to get people to understand who we are. And as you see, there is a ton of Afkasi Samoans mixed with black. So I don't understand how this whole we're racist against black people thing came from. However, I don't experience what the Afkasi that are mixed with black have experienced. I don't have that experience, so I can't speak for them. However, as our culture as a whole, we are not racist. So to say that we are all racist, no. Nah. Uh uh, that's wrong, and you know it. So don't worry, trust me, we got your back, okay? We love you, all right? We're not like this, okay? So please stop accusing us to be like this. Don't be hurt, we've got your back. Trust me, Samoa has your back. I just want to take a moment to point out that black people find. Yeah, you can go back and watch my good sis video. And I'm going to say this. It ain't hurt my feelings. Because <laughs> a haters gon' hate. Looking. So this is all I got from this video and uh, from the stitches. And I just, I mean, there are some things like, you know, I mean, since I dived into history and all that, that was when I found out that, like, you know, black people are, I mean, so much hate it you know and i really do not know even know the reason why like why would somebody like you know why do they have so much in them i mean about black people i mean it's something that uh most times i think about and i just don't know how to i mean I try to wrap my head around it it's really hard but then we are black we, this is us we cannot change who we are and all of that and the best we can do is to keep glowing and keep pushing, keep growing too. So we keep glowing all in their faces and all that. And to think of that, like, you know, it's hard to, uh, like, you know, find rare allies. Like, black people really do not have true supporters. Like, maybe something is going to happen and you find out that they are really not, I mean, for you. And I have seen so many cases of this, but then hearing this, that someone once do not even got black people's back, it's like, are you for real? But then, uh, I mean, like, it's more like everywhere in the whole wild world. I mean, people really do have something they have got to say about black people, even when they haven't worked in black people's uh, shoes, even when they, some of them really do not even understand what black people are facing through uh, I mean like you know or even some of them knew but still they choose to join the the other side I mean the pump colored people because I mean when they are not black it, it just know how they like you know flex that their complexion that when they are not black they and they are colored they most times like you know push towards the white supremacist kind of this thing but then yeah that is what it is and i really hope like you know but then what we did even do without black people that is another one what we did do without us i mean black is real black is everything black is gorgeous they are the real deal and the rest of it so what exactly would they do without black people so i'm kind of thinking and wondering what would they do without black people because like what if all i don't know but if people will really understand that every with the pop colored or whatever like you know i am sure some of them there are there are traces that some of them they have traces from africa and all that and still they've got the nerves to like hate on black people and the rest of it i mean black people are usually very welcoming they are so easy i mean they easily love people they easily fall in love with people i mean they are open they always keep their arms open and they are very diverse and all that. But I really wish that people see them also the way they see other people because it is rare to like, you know, 
they are so even forgiving like somebody is gonna hurt them and before I and then tender apology they be like it's all okay you are all welcome but it's, it's just now that some of them are like you know wanting to like if you are not for us you are you are not for us even when you come back with your apology we know that you are you it's just probably a fake apology and all of that but really in all black people are very welcoming and uh they have this big heart for those that we know this is where i am gonna draw the curtain thing uh i want you all to tell me more about someone and like you know how they feel about black people but then it really sucks that everybody want to identify with white supremacies and the rest of it all right i'm gonna uh this is where i'm gonna draw the curtain see you all in my next video bye for now